career. I call it the dancing green dragon over the uh, Arctic Circle uh, just a week ago. Yeah, that's what we saw. It is all colored, brought to you in Technicolor <laughs> by Fukushima. A pretty wild uh, show, indeed. There is, uh, obviously we have this, as you may have heard, uh, an issue with a nuclear power plant in Illinois near Chicago, and the reports, of course, have been conflicting. At first said that the plant had lost power and it went into a shutdown mode uh, and was filling up with smoke, yeah. and then they said, no, the smoke was just yeah. steam, and they had to vent the steam off, and there was a tiny bit of uh, tritium in the steam, and it's just lie after lie. They They do it everywhere. They do it everywhere. It's just well, again, par for the course. Well, again, we expected electrical storm, the solar flare, uh, to cause havoc, and that's probably some of the havoc. You know, they uh, luckily um, the the bulk of it went past the North Pole over the top, basically. It didn't hit Earth, but I wouldn't be surprised if Illinois, because the uh, jet stream is uh, uh, pouring down there, if a lot of that highly charged yeah. uh, xenon didn't uh, uh, mess with the uh, electrical systems, the control systems at that plant, along here's with a, all here, the yeah. solar bombardment. You know? here, here's yeah. another one. Uh, high levels of radiation in a cloud uh, detected passing over a New Zealand city, and the peaks yeah. of the readings read, uh, read, the readings are 1.89 microsieverts an hour in this cloud that yeah, passed that's, over. That's, that's serious for a little cloud. Well, now, sure it is. That's the one I'll tell you. I was talking about earlier, I think on your last show, about HARP, and uh, HARP being sort of a transmission, sort of a superhighway for these protons from Fukushima racing across protons of cesium, strontium coming uh -huh. across. Uh -huh. And that uh, basically is landing in the Australia because it's along the same, uh, it's not like a, uh, what do you call it, a, a purely vertical uh, axis. It's, it's going along the magnetic axis, uh -huh. you know, the magnetic line, the field line from uh, the uh, 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 Alaskan region all the way up into far away up into the stratosphere and back down into uh, Australia and New Zealand. And that's the cause of the radioactive clouds. And as I described earlier, that these things cause all sorts of weather effects like cyclones and all that. Since HARP, there's been a lot of cyclones in the Australian area. Well, we saw Brisbane, where a lot of this stuff was recorded, having a, a fierce rainstorm last week, right after uh, the people... Uh, detected uh, uh, a massive influx of radiation. So we're going to have weather effects, possibly more earthquakes when the water washes uh, down into the ground with radioactive water. Stuff is high energy. You know, when you have this kind of high energy situation in Japan, the uh, effects on the uh, geology there, uh, you know, apparently steam is coming out of vents in Mount Fuji, Japan's tallest mountain. Oh, really? So mm -hmm. if yes, then mm -hmm. uh, we described that New Year's quake was right along the main axis, along yes, the Mount yes. uh, Fuji volcanic axis. Earth is moving, so we got a lot of this water. You know, that's a water, a water with radiation in it, yeah. and that's like supercharging the underground electrical current and disturbing the electromagnetism down there. And so we're seeing magna on the move, huh. and it's being supercharged now. So this is very, very dangerous. Uh, we know, you know, that uh, uh, we just don't know how long and what Japan's going to do because they've got the 54 reactors, all of them nearly full at full capacity with their. Uh, what uh, What is the status fuel. of Japan? Excuse me, Yochi. What is the status of Japan's yeah. nuclear power, 54 reactor bedrock of uh, nuclear only energy? Five of, five of them running now. There's only five running now. Five. That's it. Those five are. Yeah, those, those will be shut down uh, in the spring for uh, repair work. But the problem is uh, they're all near. There's only a couple of years, a few more years of capacity for the spent pool. And the Japanese government doesn't know where to go with it. Because no one, <laughs> they assumed other countries would take it. No one will take well, it. That's... So therefore, the, basically the nuclear program, I think a lot of uh, people, even on NHK, you see some, a lot of educated people, members of parliament saying, Basically, Japan's soon going to be out of the nuclear power business. Well, they have to be. I mean, you got here. You put these yeah. people are insane. They build these plants that generate electricity yeah. for 50 years, and then yeah. they're they they should be shut down. But their waste yeah. remains for a million yeah. years or more. Yeah. Well, if these weather, I mean, if these not climate, but these uh, geological effects go, if Fuji blows, if one another major volcano, they just dozens, actually hundreds of volcanic cones along that blows. 
you know, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna, what we're seeing with the dancing green giant over Trump's own Norway yeah. is going to be nothing. I mean, this is this is going to be massive. So, you know, the world's got to pay more attention to this. There's got to be more pressure put, obviously. What do you project somehow, next? What do you project no. next? First of all, the health of the Japanese citizens is declining rapidly. All, all over the, yeah. all over the place. We're, yeah. we're just, okay. we're beginning to see these horrible stories come out. It's going to be yeah. a nightmare Terrible. in a year. Yeah. Just awful. Yeah. Children dying, Playing adults dying. Yeah. yeah. People's yeah. hair falling yeah. out. Just, this is a, like a yeah. nuclear war. Uh, no question about yeah. that. The idea of Fukushima though, uh, the lies, the despicable lies of TEPCO and its cold shutdown. Yeah. That plant is, uh, 20, 30 years away from being close to being controlled, and even then they're not going to contain yeah. it completely. That's right. And it's spewing, and it's now a global problem, as we've seen with this Northern Lights, the dancing green giant, as we're seeing with this uh, radiation spike down in the Southern Hemisphere. No part of the Southern Hemisphere in Australia, near the Arctic. Yeah, and yeah. Arctic in fact. No part of the world is safe. It's eating away at the ozone hole means that solar flares are, you know, just coming in completely unchallenged. Ultra, you know, infrared light is heating up the earth. And this is what, you know, my complaint about global warming or the ozone hole is, yeah, CSC played a part, but what about the uh, uh, atmospheric nuclear test that created HARP? Didn't that do something to the ozone hole? Why aren't we talking about that, right? right? Why aren't we discussing that? Global warming uh, isn't, isn't uh, are, are these same, the opening of these global holes, is that also contributing to UV just bringing in uh, completely unblocked and being trapped along the equator? You know, I mean, these are questions the scientific community, uh, I would say, is more than disappointing. They are cowards. They are paid cowards. They work for industry. They work for government grants. And we see I'll, I'll go. I'll you know, go a half step a further. Handful, a handful of scientists uh, yeah. stepping forward, taking the meekest, meekest little position. Right. And the stuff that we're talking about, well, let's come out. Come out with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but. I would go further than calling them cowards. I'd call them killers, because that's what they are. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They they invent the stuff. They test the stuff. They don't inform the public about the dangers. The public knew. They would, uh, you know, they would vote out any government that played around with it, knowing should? that they don't really have control, that they really don't know how to control the stuff, yeah? right. the technology. Right. Six, 16 leaks, new leaks found at, at Fukushima, folks. That whole plant uh, is destroyed. Yeah. There's, there's just Again, nothing. Yeah. Well, you saw the silence, and now, you know, a month ago, as uh, we discussed this, right, Seven yep. weeks ago, I said there was a shut. There was an emergency, a yep. dire crisis there. Yep. Workers yep. were evacuated. Uh, you know, the, the whole situation is out of control. Now the facts are starting to filter out. What if it was worse? It was bad enough already. If we're seeing dancing green dragons in the sky, what if it was worse? The, the world would not have been known. No one would have been prepared. You know, people would just have sealed if it had been worse. Correct. They're not giving anyone any proper warning here. You know, there's no, no we're, ex- we're expendable. The public health of all the people in North yeah. America. Expendable. Zero. All of them. Just zero concern for that. It's much more important to protect the industry, the fat cats in the industry, the bankers who, you know, bankroll them. You know, the utilities make so much easy money for these guys. You know, the utilities are like the cream of the cream when it comes to the financial community. And this is the cream that your banker is pouring into his coffee and, uh, you know, giving the bill to the public. So this is the public has a very much a right to know. You know, you're paying the electrical bill. You're the consumer. You want to know. You want to know. And you should be able to know where your power is coming from and what is wrong with it if there is something wrong with it. Anyway. Yeah. All we've heard about is global warming. We've heard nothing about oh. these other dangers. It's all misdirection. It's, it's all lies. Totally unbalanced. And right. it, it, it looks like nearly a, sl- a, a slate of hand that they were just pushing this to divert public attention yes. away from some of the deeper real causes of the global environmental catastrophe. Oh, exactly. Now, as a, as a career journalist, former editor of the Japan Times Weekend Edition, the mm-hmm. magazine, mm-hmm. You must be, like I am, repulsed at what they call journalism now. It has nothing to do with journalism. Yeah. 
Well, it's... You got well, a couple good a people still at the Japan yeah. Times, I know. Right. But over here, yeah. Yochi, it yeah. is so grim. Yeah. It was celebrity journalism and all that. We see, I see it on Yahoo. So I, I, I do plug in and read Yahoo News. Yeah, it's yeah. It's a joke. You know, it, 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 it is it's a joke. It's not exactly. Uh, Kim Card- What's the, I don't even know what their name is. Kim Kardashian's latest dress or hairstyle. Right. Or divorce. I, who cares? I don't even know who she is. She's from some, some, some reality well, show. Some Amer- America, ca- America is taught to care, and they care about the it's the Kardashian family. There are a number of adult children, That's, and it, they are the American intellect is dead. Uh, it's gone. Yeah, it is, never mind the fate of your children. Oh you know, no, never mind the it's today. It's instant gratification. Yeah, instant never gratification. Mind that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they want it now. So, they don't, no responsibility, yeah. no accountability. They don't think logically, progressively, projecting anything of any kind of sequencing anymore in their thoughts. It's just random. It's well, amazing. it seems amazing. that we got at least one half honest candidate there in the United States presidential election. Let's hope he uh, can do something about it. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Win it all. Yeah. Right? We're yeah. talking about Ron Paul. Maybe yeah. he can win it all. Maybe if he can. Uh, I don't know, at least get the word out there. Well, at least he can stop the war, and then we can work on the rest of the stuff after that. Right, right, right. Uh, 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 Nail down the causes of that war. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah, let's hope. All right. I hope the American people wake up. I do, too. Thank you, Ochi. They just need to look at the skies above them and open their ears and listen to the ethereal music and know their world, their future, their lives are in trouble. Indeed. All right, my friend. Take care. Talk to you soon. All right. Yochi mm-hmm. Shimatsu. Uh, you hear him here every week from Hong Kong. He's a, a, absolutely a brilliant environmental journalist, and he has been involved for decades. Extremely wise man. We'll be back in 21 hours. Thanks for being here. Take care. <laughs>